Yeah, he looks good. Another crazy looking Batman. Holy crap, that's cool. There's the Black Widow from the new movie, Hoist Counter as well. <laughs> oh man, that, that brings me back. So I'm back in Scarborough and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's about to rain. I'm gonna head over towards um, the Victoria Park Toys R Us to see if they have anything cool there. Hopefully I'll make it before it actually starts to rain. Wish me luck. I'm at Toys R Us right now. And I was just checking out their uh, Star Wars aisle again. Mostly the same figures that I've seen before, but I did spy a couple of new ones. We have Han Solo here, much younger version from the movie. Yeah, he looks good. He looks very good. And then from the Galaxy's Edge. We have Captain Cardinal, which I saw before. Very cool as well. And check this out. We have Hondo Onkana. Onkana. Oh, he's a Galaxy's Edge exclusive as well. $34? Not bad. There are two of them here. We also got, uh, wow, holy cow, he's made a die cast. Wait, what the heck? This is not. This is Hondo Okano. It's another figure swap. What the hell? But this is a die cast figure. Ugh, that's weird. Why would anybody do that? I'm not sure why that is. I've heard a couple of these actually now that diecasts have been swapped for regular figures. This is literally deck. It feels super heavy. All right, something's up. This is the second time I've heard of that actually. To be honest with you, I'm gonna have to check the boards and see if there's anything wrong. Actually, there are a whole bunch of them. Hondo Okana. Yep, they got a ton of them here. So. No, uh, no fear of losing that one. I'm gonna find out what's going on with that. They even swapped the, uh, the weapon. That is so strange. Why would you do that? <sighs> Odd. Anyway, very cool to see. Not the swap, just the new figures. Oh, this is new. Hello. Check it out. Darth Ravens. Lightsaber. Holy crap, that's cool. Force effect lightsaber. Oh my god, $379. Ooh. Yeah, that's out of my price range. <laughs> Crazy. Still, good to see the Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, it's probably from the video game. Very, very cool. Well, if anybody can afford this, it's here at the. <laughs> it's here at Toys R Us at uh, Victoria Park. Very cool. Uh, there's the uh, snow speeder. Very cool. Poe Darren's... Poe Dameron, sorry. Uh, X-Wing. Yeah, pretty cool. Looks like they're restocked. And it is Halloween, so we got some cool masks here. Very cool. Right, let's go check out the Transformers. And of course I turn around and oh my god, they have four Millennium Falcons here. Holy cow, look at the size of these things. $499.99. You know, don't get me wrong, I think that's actually cheaper than the American version. <laughs> but they've actually got four of them here. Holy crap, this thing's huge. Just turn this around. That is crazy. That is so nuts. I can't believe they actually have them here. Well, the back is the same as the front. <laughs> Let's check the side. Yeah, the sides are the same too. Oh my god, this thing's gigantic. That is huge. Just check the top. Wow. 
$500 for this thing. My God. Seriously, who's going to buy it? Well, whoever wants it is here. Victoria Park. <sighs> Crazy. And everything looked pretty normal until I saw these new figures. Holy crap, check this out. The Grim Knight. Man, he looks he looks grim. He's all decked out in like military gear. Wow. He's like the Punisher and the Batman joined forces. Or sorry, combined into one person. That's crazy. And there's more. There's Batman Earth 44. Holy cow. Another crazy looking Batman. Oh my god. That is insane. And then... <laughs> Holy cow. This guy's ridiculous. Batman Earth 1. Look at this guy. This guy's insane. He looks like... He looks like Doomsday. Oh, jeez. I think it is Doomsday. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, gosh. But then I have these guys. Check these out. I've heard about these guys. These are awesome. Batman Earth 32. He's like a Green Lantern and Batman. That is insane. Great to see these guys in the wild. Oh, check it out. It's the Batman who laughs. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Wow, I've never seen this guy in the, in the wild. Holy cow, Batman who laughs. He comes with a piece of the Batmobile that we talked about the other day. Man, he looks cool. Oh, he looks amazing. He looks insane. That's just crazy. Great to see these guys in the wild. That is awesome. And then there's Nightwick. <laughs> but he looks pretty cool too. Also comes with a piece of the Batman wheel. Awesome. Much to uh, take a look at and report on the Star Wars section, unfortunately. Yeah, the Dragon Dagger is still here. I love this thing. Unfortunately, it's way too expensive. But I do love the gimmicks. Still have this Dino Charge Black Ranger. These guys are interesting, and they're not too bad. I would be interested in picking one of these up later. $24.99, if they ever go on sale, I'm definitely picking them up. They have uh, pop-up faces of the Rangers. Really cool, that's Jason, that's Kimberly. Yeah, pretty cool. More of the Beast Morphers, and there's that Zeo Megazord. Very cool. Cool uh, Avenger stuff. It's, oh, sorry, <laughs> the Uncanny X Men. Obviously, it's the classics for that series. Wow, it's the entire Avengers set. Some big, the big figures, the really tall ones. And we've got Thanos here. The Black Panther, Captain America. Yeah, the Winter Soldier, Iron Man. And the other characters as well. $100 for this. Wow, this sell deck is 100 bucks. That's a lot of money, guys. Oh, gosh. Cool. Storm and Thunderbird. This set looks amazing. That's wicked. Oh, check it out. It's the Red Hulk. Oh, but he's damaged. He looks beefy, man. Holy cow. And he's heavy. He is heavy. Crazy. Yeah. Nobody else really to, uh, to chat about. A lot of the same stuff we've seen for a while. There's the Black Widow from the new movie, which still hasn't come out. Wow, she does look good. It does kind of, it does pretty much resemble Johansson there. Yeah, not bad, not bad. 
There's that beefy venom I saw the other day. Wow, he's cool. Crazy. All right, let's go check out the Transformers. Well, same old stuff that we've seen before at the uh, Transformers section. A lot of these Cyberverse figures. I heard a new series was actually coming out, so that's probably why they've restocked. I love these guys. They just got to come down in price. <laughs> Yeah, not really much to write home about. Yeah, they've got these, of course, Earthrise characters. I might actually start making a hoist counter as well. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, we'll also might, might even think about, nah, you know what? Too many counters, but anyway, that'll happen. All right, down here we do still have a lot of ape faces. Crazy. Last week, these were pretty much all gone. And the sale is still on until Thursday, or Wednesday. So 1987 for each of these. Great price. All right, we still got a uh, Siege Prime. All right, guys, if anybody still wants to grab one of these guys, 1987, not a bad year and not a bad price. But that's about it for the Transformers. All right, let's keep going. Almost passed these guys by. Here's that gigantic kingpin that I saw the other day. $29.99. But, <laughs> for whatever reason, they put Mysterio down here. Wow, Mysterio looks good. Holy cow. That is also a good looking figure. Wow. Love the detailing. Very cool. Still haven't found any Spider-Man to actually save my life. The I love that song. The toys are called Spider-Man, but I can't find Spider-Man. Go figure. From bikes to trains to video games. Love this store. Love that song. All right, let's get going. I guess constructs area. Some new Halo stuff. Obviously, there's the Halo ring, which we saw the other day. Game of Thrones. <laughs> the Master Chief, who was on sale the last time I was here, but I don't think so now. Got to find out. Skiff Interceptor. The Warthog Rally. And what else do we have here? We have the Banshee Breakout. We see that very often, actually. There's also the Recon Getaway. The Kensau Cyclops Raid. I think I've seen that before, but can't be too sure. Here's something interesting. The Banished Turret Takedown. Hmm. Huh. That's cool. Another set here. The Radar Wreckage. Awesome. A couple of blind packs. Some other actual figures. Looks like they're Spartans. And we have Master Chief and Brute. That's really cool. There's the building block box. Oh, what's this? The Warthog Run, which I think I saw the other day. This is new, I think. Wow, the Phaeton Halo Strike. That is very cool. And there is the Four Hog versus the Banished Goliath. Very cool. Oh, and of course I've missed up. But I saw this the other day. It's the Energy Sword. Very, very cool. Hey, let's bring it, guys, for the Mega Constructs. And then, of course, we do have the Masters of the Universe, Mega Constructs. Battlecat versus Rotom, which I'm one day going to pick up, but this is the one I really am having my eye on. It is Point Dread, sorry, Panthor at Point Dread. Comes with Panthor, Skeletor, the White Sorceress, and I believe it does come with Zodak. Very, very cool. Yeah, Mega Constructs is uh, bringing it. Alright, let's get going. I, I seriously have to say this. This is supposed to be the music section, <laughs> okay? But Funko has taken over completely. Uh, seriously, what is with Funko? Look at this. Oh my god. Just crazy. Look how many sections it takes up. Uh, and every time I come here, I'm sorry guys, but it says it's up to 40% of our Funkos. 
when you have this much product, is that actually a surprise? <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. All right, let's get going. Cool finds. Saw a lot of great stuff that was refreshed. I might come back and uh, pick up some of those uh, figures, but for now, let's help out, head off to the next location. Whew! Toys real, hunting is real in 2020, everybody. Huh. I'm here at the Warden and Eglinton location for the Walmart. Hopefully, uh, we'll find something here. Searching for Masters Universe, the G.I. Joe Retro Collection, and some Star Wars figures if uh, they have something unique. Let's check it out. They have too much more in the Transformers section. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven grapples. Guys, come on, we gotta reduce the grapple population. And not much else to talk about in the Transformer section. There's the DC section as always. Great to see. Ah, oh, boy. Alright, so nothing else of interest in the Star Wars portion, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, whoa, here it is, here it is. Oh, check it out. They've got Roblox and Destro. Holy crap. Okay, this is definitely in the wrong section, but it does say G.I. Joe figure ass assorted, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are not $29.97. Holy crap, okay, so I got two. There's another Destro here, guys. This is the Eglinton and um, I believe it's Warden location. So guys, this is great. Awesome to see these guys in the wild. I'm gonna pick these two up. Whew! Awesome, it was worth the trip down here. Sweet. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything else of any real interest right now. I'm gonna take these guys to the front, do a quick scan, make sure that they are going to be 18 bucks, I think. So if anybody's interested, there's another Destro here. Awesome. Toys here. Um, can't see everything. Are some interesting boxes. I might have to come back later tonight to see if they've unpacked and uh, unloaded all this stuff. All right, guys. Anyway, let's go check out. Wow. <laughs> I was able to get Roblox and Destro from the new, from the new GI Joe Retro Style Collection. Oh boy. All right, guys. On to the next location. <sighs> I'm over here by the Steel's Markham location. Still looking for those Massive Universe Origins figures. I was able to find those uh, G.I. Joe Retro figures, so I'm hoping for a few more. Wish me luck. I can't believe it. I literally made it right here when they were restocking. Check it out, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I've been waiting for these guys for so long. There's Trap Jaw. Holy shit, he looks good. Oh, God. Wow. Came here right on time. All right, so we got one trap jaw. Whew. <laughs> hey, it's Manny Faces. Holy crap. Check it out. Yes, 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 yes. That is so awesome. Just gonna check the back here. Oh, that looks amazing. Holy crap, I can't believe I found it. Oh, I was turning the corner, <laughs> didn't even have the camera on, and the guy who was, one of the employees on the floor who was, whoo, he was start restocking for today, and he's a cool guy, man. He always tells me when these things are coming in, so I gotta give kudos to him. Awesome stuff. So there's Skeletor again. This one I'm gonna pick up for Will, because he's been looking for these just like I have. So awesome. Oh, wow. And of course, the man himself. It is He Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Amazing. Whew, got here before Scalper, Scalper Sam. <laughs> Literally, you have to be here when, when all the guys are restocking them on the floor, because if you're not, Two of the guys were looking for Scareglow, like it's crazy. 
but it's all good it's all good you know as long as you're a collector that's what really matters awesome Whew. all right so I got everybody I need today that's crazy I'm gonna hopefully one day we'll catch uh, Scareglow and Orko but yeah this is awesome sweet God. <laughs> I can't believe it. After all that searching, after all that running around, finally, while they were stalking, I couldn't believe it. The guy who I asked the other day about where, when these things are coming in, finally, he was literally stalking this on the shelf. I couldn't believe it. I was so, so excited. Holy crap. So I, I finally got Trap Jaw, and I also got, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Manny Faces. Wow. Okay, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna get inside. Whew! What a hunt, guys. This was awesome. At the Markville Walmart. <sighs> Let's hope we can get some more Masters of the Universe Origins and maybe some more Retro G.I. Joe figures. And of course, still looking for RC and a Quintesson. <laughs> Wish me luck. Too much uh, to report in this area. Again, it's the mostly WWE stuff. They have some new figures here, like Styles and Viscera. Oh, there's Ronda Rousey. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, she looks okay. Interesting. We got uh, the Elite Collection, Reckon. This one looks kind of tattered and torn. Hey, 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 take a look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> look at this, everybody. It's Ravishing Rick Rude. Holy cow. <laughs> oh man, that, that brings me back. Ravishing Rick Rude. Wow. That's hilarious. Oh, too funny. Ravishing Rick Rude. Classic. Classic. That is hilarious. And of course, right beside him is Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth. Wow. With her signature uh, dress. That's funny. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth. Classic. SummerSlam. Yeah, whenever I, have to, whenever I see any of these uh, old school wrestlers I, I grew up on, I have to stop. I really do. Awesome. So they do have Seth Rollins from the WWE Universe. Still very good to see. No Master of the Universe in this section though, unfortunately. Yep. And it uh, doesn't look like there's any Boba Fats or anybody else to write home about too much. It is what it is though. Alright, let's move on. In the uh, Transformer section. So, they do have a blaster. That is cool. So, it's still here. The reds are still here as well. No Optimus Prime, though. And unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, they still have three grapples here. One, two, three. Guys, help reduce the population of grapples in the world. Adopt one today. Earthrise Starscream, two of them, but one of them has a damage package. But that's about it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Didn't find anything there. Did see Ravishing Rick Rude and Elizabeth. <laughs> that was fun. I'm going to the last location. Hopefully we'll find something else. Want to find that Scare Glow and that Orko. <laughs> Alright guys, wish me luck.